Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. You know it's Joe Jaguar, giving you another video that I hope you're going to like, your best friend in astronomy and magazines. And by the way, there's, I have a lot of subscribers that's been with me a long time. I appreciate it, thank you, okay? Okay, today's video is about these camera adapters, okay? Now, in the last year, I've been just using this with a cell phone and I wanna show you the difference between a 15 to $20. Sometimes you can find them for $30 on uh, Amazon and AliExpress and all those things. And yes, I am wearing, it's not pink, it's salmon. Angelus bought it for me. Okay, Joe's actually wearing it. Let's get to it. So I've been using this one, this kind of thing. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between these two products now this again is between 15 and 30 dollars and this is celestron's version the next uh yz uh, type of thing but this was actually pretty expensive this was like i believe 75 canadian dollars from amazon i got it in two days it's a big box but let's run down this okay so this is your basic unit this here you just put your eyepiece in here it holds it type of thing and then uh the tricky part about this is kind of knowing how high on the eyepiece you have to have it because some eyepieces have uh, a lot of eye relief so it might have to be taller or shorter so that you kind of have to play and guess with the other problem with these ones are is then depending on your phone uh, they have uh, two, I don't know if you can see that, um, two areas where you can put the screw in, uh, depending on your size phone. Once you think you have it in the eyepiece, let's say it's my finger here, then again, you tighten, put your cell phone here, tighten it down, and then you have to, in this direction, uh, and it de depends on where your cameras are on the iPhone too. You move it, um, type of thing, and then the final thing is, then once you th you see it on the screen, you lock it down. Now the problem though with this too, the locking mechanism is once you hold it and then you try to lock it, sometimes it lifts or tilts it one or two degrees. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but your cell phone camera is very tiny and you gotta get it right on top of that exit pupil light. And even with me, being I would say somewhat experienced just getting all that and then you, again you don't know you have to play with the how high or low on your specific eyepiece it needs to be this direction and then uh, sometimes it takes me two three minutes to get it perfect and then sometimes I'm not a hundred percent perfect but you know it's okay it does work but it is a little finicky so it's not just slapping it on boom in 10 seconds it will take you guys a couple of minutes to get it accurately I wanted to try this guy. Now this is a pretty big box. It's a lot more expensive, uh, almost six uh, times more expensive, but is it six times better? So let's just get this guy out of here. It is a lot bigger. Now, just looking at this guy, and I've used it, um, it's a lot better, but I still have some issues with it. So here you go. What I, I like over here is this, um, you put your cell phone here so you can just, you don't have to screw or unscrew it so it can fit most cell phones. It sits like this. This guy has a clamp. You put it over your eyepiece and then you can tighten it down with this bolt here. Now, what I like underneath is first of all, this one here, as you can see, this is wh where I was saying uh, it's easier to move. This is depending on the, uh, see there, depending on what eye relief you're, you, you have it, you can raise it or lower it, and it's on like a rail with uh, like a pinion, like a rack and pinion type of thing, almost like your focuser. So that part I like because you can minute move it, you don't have to do it manually by hand. Now it also has, of course, two other controls here, one in this direction, slides the body up and down, and then this one slides the body left and right. And again, 
This is like aluminum teeth. So it's like a rack and pinion as well. Um, so I had noticed that because it gives you these kind of like slow motion controls. If you ever use a, if you guys have ever used like an Altazmuth AZ2 or something like that with no slow motion controls, you're doing everything by hand. And when you're at higher power, that one millimeter movement is a lot of movement in the eyepiece. So I feel like it's the same with this type of thing. Trying to move it by hand is okay. You can get it done. But with this guy, with the slow motion control, so it's like having a slow motion control, uh, like an AZ-5 or something with slow motion control or a Twilight. You can just minute move it up and down and there is no slippage where this guy, once you tighten below, it kind of moves the body a little bit. And then it changes if you can see it or not and you gotta get it perfect. So this one actually eliminates all that. So I like that. There is one thing I don't like, this big handle. Because, okay, it comes with these two items here. And this is for an inch and a quarter eyepiece and this is for maybe larger inch and a quarter eyepiece or maybe this is for 9.65. And what it is is you put your eyepiece in there and then you lock this guy down. Now I noticed in inch and a quarter eyepiece, there's a little bit of play with this guy. Now it looks like this guy could almost get a two inch eyepiece in here, right? Not just an inch and a quarter. So I noticed that I don't like that part here. Now it looks like it's solid, but when I had it on the eyepiece, it actually does not close all the way. Even the larger one wasn't closing all the way because it depends on what eyepiece you're using, but I was only using inch and a quarter. And there's like a little movement in here. I think it would have been better if this was actually molded on here. And then when you tighten this up, it would be more rock solid instead of having this guy and it's especially cut like this. So when you wrap it on there, there's a little bit, I don't know if that makes sense, a little bit of too much play. So I found that it was still like a little bit of an angle. So once you uh, close that down, I don't know, it's just not rock solid. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Even right now it's tight. Uh, it, it's okay, but I, th I wish they would have had built-in teeth, let's say, rubber teeth over here. And then that way it would lock on the actual eyepiece without having a rubber uh, molded uh, plastic that kind of maneuvers anyway around the eyepiece and here. So it's just not perfect. It would have been better on here. That's my um, thing that I don't like it. Everything else is uh, uh, okay. And of course, you know, the week after that I bought this for $75 uh, or, uh, or something like that, it was like $15 off uh, on, on, what's it called, uh, Amazon. So I hate when that happens, when you just buy it and then a week later, it drops considerable. Uh, amount, but I have tried it and that's the only thing that I find a negative negative maybe on the next generation Model they'll fix it, but it is not cheap uh, You know you could probably buy almost six of these uh, or four or five type of thing But it's still overall it's near perfect if they would fix that in the next generation I think that would be good Anyway guys like comment subscribe Joe Jaguar. I'll see you on the next video if you guys are on the forums and somebody asks a question that I have a video for, like, share it with them. And if you know anybody in the hobby that's looking for videos, share my YouTube uh, links. Why not you? Why not me? Hey guys, just a reminder that we now have three channels. One is just the Astro channel, Joe Jaguar City Astronomer. Then we have our couples uh, channel, uh, Joe and Angelus. And then we have Angelus uh, made one, my special needs journey with Frankie. The reason why, instead of having all three different types of uh, videos on one channel, we just want to make them individual. So the Astro channel will only be Astro stuff. Uh, in the description below, uh, you can get to the other two. Please subscribe to the other two.